Well, here at the Cardiff University Brain Research and Imaging Centre, we've been really enjoying playing with the state-of-the-art scanners, the Connect Arm, the 7T, and getting out important new measurements of cell properties. But it's clear that there are a number of limitations with existing MRI technology, and not least of which is the massive cost of the magnets. So, starting from a long line of tradition with standard proton magnetic resonance through electron paramagnetic resonance, or EPR, we're very proud to be able to announce today, for the first time, the advent of apparent proton resonance, or APR for short. Now, this involves thinking not just outside of the box, but actually thinking outside of the magnet. In other words, we dared to ask a question, what if? What if we did away with the magnet completely? So just think about it. Apart from the obvious massive cost savings, you don't have to worry about many things, such as citing the magnet, metal in the scanning room, patients who might find the MRI scan claustrophobic. In fact, the benefits just go on and on. So for years, physicists have been obsessed with something called the signal to noise ratio. And we know that different people experience different signal to noise ratios, and this makes population studies very challenging. However, by removing the magnetic field, we can bring these two energy states much closer together, and so we can achieve a signal to noise ratio of absolute unity. And this means, for example, we could put several people into the room at the same time. But removing that magnet means there's no resonance to worry about anymore. So we don't need expensive radio frequency amplifiers and we just need a simple antenna. And this means that we can roll APR out into places you wouldn't expect to see brain scanners. For example, in the doctor's surgery or even in an ambulance. So as you can see behind me, this is the site of construction of the APR Imaging Laboratory. And here in Kubrick, we're really excited about the new frontiers that this will open up. Not only will this disrupt the field, it's going to completely destroy it. And we really look forward to the first people coming through the system about 12 months from now.